All right, just going live. If you come in here, just, just let me know where you're tuning in from. We'll go from there. All right, we are good. We're good. What's up, everyone? How's it going? What's up, Anna? Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little bit behind schedule. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, but thank you for coming on. Super excited to bring this material to you. You know, I was talking to my wife. I was like, oh, what, what should our live video video be? And she she helps me with everything. And uh, what's up, Abdullah? So we came up with this topic because this this is this is massive, guys. For for us, I know Anna, you're in this camp. For us that sit all day, I'm I'm the same way, entrepreneur. I do get out and about seeing clients, but for the most part, I'm sitting working on the business. So these things, we're going to tackle pain, stiffness, and weakness. Most people think stretching is the answer. Most people think stretching is what you need to do for pain relief. So we'll take the neck, for example. Neck, headaches is upper, back pain. Most people are going to give you this. PTs, chiropractors, come over here, hold for 30 seconds to a minute, up to two minutes like this, or maybe just any kind of stretch. It's all these static holds. Or maybe you see kind of arm hold here, hold this, or doorway stretch. All those are, are all those, all they're going to do is short-term relief. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. So stretching does very little for pain relief. It does very little for injury prevention. It does very little for uh, just, just long-term health. Strengthening is what you need. Strength, strength, strength is the is the most important things you, you need. So what I work with my clients with is, you know, we're, we're building strength. We're building resiliency in the body. We're, 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 we're making the, the body so it can, it can handle different movements, say like sitting and squatting. For your case, Anna, you know, I know, I know cleaning is a thing. So being able to do that, those motions, the cleaning rotations with, with strength, right? So strength is what you want to do. So, so there's a time to, you know, do you take 30 minutes to an hour to do like a strength program? But for us that are sitting all the time, you want to take breaks and do all you need is like three moves, like five minutes at the most, 10 minutes. Do these exercises going to help with the pain relief, help with your pain as you work. Is again, you know, we since we sit for our work, we can't change that. That's how we that's how we bring the money in. That's how we pay pay the bills. So it's not all about changing your job or, or, or changing your profession. It's all about do making different, changing your habits, uh, changing your lifestyle to work around your work so let's get into the movements i know that's why you're all here my um my wife always tells me talk less move more <laughs> so so let's let's move so here's movement <laughs> movement number one this can be done in seated or standing and all these moves i'm going to show you you don't need any equipment do them at your desk i always recommend a a, a desk that you can sit or stand but the first one, we're, we're just going to strengthen the shoulder blades. <clears throat> so it's called a scapular retraction. We're pulling back and holding for a couple of seconds and relaxing. <clears throat> Where most people go wrong with this, they sometimes they'll kind of they'll bring it up too high, engage the traps, or they just go straight back. What, what I want you to do is you you pull back, but then you go down a little bit. Because you want to engage those rhomboids and the lower traps. So you pull back and then down. Hold that for a few seconds and relax. And so then you just contract and relax. Contract straight from the front, pull in the shoulder blades, hold for a few seconds, and then relax. So you hold for two seconds, do this for a minute. I say put a timer on. You can count if you want. If you count, do like 10 reps. But I, I like doing a timer, timer of a minute, because what you can do is just 
you don't have to worry about anything. You just kind of zone out, engage those muscles that again, when there's, when you're sitting, those muscles are turned off. So that's why, so these are right in between the shoulder blades. So when those are turned off, then you're having to rely heavily on all of these muscles, your traps, your neck, where again, you know, we need strength in these. It's not about stretching them. Don't, don't do that. Is that, they're already, they're already lengthened. So it's just going to make it worse when we do these static stretches. So in a, in a, in a future video, I'll show you the best ways to strengthen here, you know, doing shrugs. And then there's other things you can do, but I don't want to get too carried away. But anyways, number one is pinching the shoulder blades. Number two, you know, since we're, since we're sitting the pot in that posture, our, our hip flexors are turned off. So our, our muscles that attach from our uh, low back pelvis area to the front of our thigh, those are our hip flexors. Most people think we need to stretch those. Oh, they're, I'm sitting, so they're short and I need to stretch them. No, no, don't need to, you don't need to stretch your hip flexors. You need to strengthen them. So when they get painful, when they get tired, you feel these muscles a lot when you're when you're um, running, and when you when you feel that tight feeling, it feels like you need to stretch them. But no, you need to strengthen them. So how we strengthen these? This is going to get core as well. So what we want to do? Let me come. Thank you, Abdullah. Thanks for coming on. So we want to do marches. So these can be done in in sitting or standing. Keep your core engaged. Come up, hold for a few seconds, and then switch. And you're just engaging. You're engaging all that front side. Two, doing this with the hold and, and doing a good amount, this will get your heart rate up a little bit too, which is good if you're sitting, you're static, you have that resting heart rate. So this will get it up. And another way that it's seated, and then just bringing, bringing those marching like that. And that's going to really engage the core. So we need strength in those hip flexors. Strength is so important because again, they're, they're muscles that are turned off when you're sitting. So movement number three is a thoracic rotation. So our mid back, the, so, so, so the middle of the back is the thoracic re region. This area typically doesn't have enough motion. You know, when we don't have a lot of motion in our mid back, they were relying heavily on our uh, shoulders, our hips, our low back. So we need the we need the spine moving properly. And that's what's going to help everything. That's going to help because again, we're not robots. We're like when we pick something up, we're not like we we move in these these diagonal planes, like these three D planes. We need we need rotation. Um, we play sports. We need like golf, being tennis. We need we need everything moving. So how you do this one? So sit, so sit or stand tall. I, I like doing these in standing because again, you're sitting all the time. So let, let's activate some, some new muscles. So hands over your chest. And what you're going to do, you're just going to rotate to one side, keeping your hips stable. A couple seconds and then come back. And rotate to the other side. One, two. And what you're going to notice when you do this, you're probably going to notice one side is tighter than the other. So with that, you want to address both, but definitely make sure you address the tighter. So for me, the left is a little tighter. So I know to work on that more. Right's not as bad. So left being a little tighter, I'll do, I'll do a few extra reps this way. Just like that. So this strengthens the mid back and it, it helps helps with rota rotational mobility which again a lot of people but my my pain was like this and a lot of clients i work with you get a lot of pain in the mid back like stiffness of pain then it moves up and usually the pain's like right around the scapula you know come up to the traps they don't come up to your headache and you get these headaches here and then possibly migraines so this is going to help with all that you're getting that good mobility and you're 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 helping your you're, you're helping that motor control of your your spine of your shoulders your neck all that's so vital 
So try these out right now. Hopefully you're you're moving with me. If not, just do a couple. You know, do the shoulder pinches. Good. Do those marches. And again, with each of these, do a minute each. And then the other one is doing the rotations. So great work. <laughs> minute each of those. Save this. Save this. Um, also, drop a comment. Like, let, let me know how your body's feeling after you do do some of those reps. And then also share this with anyone. If you know anyone dealing with uh, chronic pain, share this. These three three exercises uh, with them, especially if they're sitting a lot. Share this with them so they can get they can get some relief. And again, these, these take less than. Awesome, Anna. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, thank you for coming on. Yeah, these are these are. Save these. This is something you can do during your break. Your 30, uh, 35 minutes. Knock these out. What's up, ba Bana? I hope hopefully I'm saying that right. Thanks for coming on. We just, just finished the three movements, but these three three moves, you can do less than five minutes. They're gonna make a huge impact on how you feel throughout the day. So, 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 so massive. So work on these, save these, use these. Um, again, the, these are these are better than stretches. Avoid avoid these static stretches. They're not doing anything. If anything, they're making things worse because they'll make your your neck uh, unstable. And it's going to be harder to sit, stand. You're just going to want to lay down all the time. So um, do these three moves. We got to focus on strength. Strength is the best way to get pain free. And um, yeah, join me next Thursday. These are the days I'm going to go live. I'm going to share habits, share exercises, share all this information with you and just continue to help you guys with the pain, build strength. Um, and yeah, just, just, just develop better habits. So thanks for coming on. Take care guys.